Hi, my name is Mike Wagner. I'm the Senior Product Manager for LED Products at Aerie. And we're here at NAB 2016 to debut some new products. So at this show, we're actually showing a couple of updates to our sky panel. The sky panel is an ultra-bright LED soft light that's fully tunable and extremely versatile. To kind of add to that versatility, we're actually coming out with a new accessory uh, here at NAB called the Skybender. The Skybender is an asymmetrical reflector that you simply slide into the front of the sky panel and you're able to get a really homogeneous beam of light over a wall. So just by adding this reflector to the front of it, you could tilt the light upwards against a wall and you get a really beautiful, soft, even distribution of light. In fact, it's so uniform that it's about a plus or minus one-sixth of an f-stop uniformity. So it gives you really nice, even coverage over a wall. So you could light this from below or you could light it from above. You could use it, you could do both actually. Um, but the Skybender is a great accessory that's really going to expand the versatility of the sky panel. Before, we were able to adjust the color temperature from 2800 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin and also get really saturated colors. But now we've also uh, enabled the ability to select from a wide range of gels. So you could select from Roscoe and Lee gels, and we actually have 277 different gels inside of the light. And it's as simple as changing the mode and then picking the color that you want. So we have popular categories like Roscoe's Storaro selection, the Cal colors, and we have Lee's Series 600 filters, and their uh, color correction filters, of course, as well. So we're able to select them very quickly. Not only can you select the gel, but you could also select the base color temperature of that gel. So either 3200 degrees Kelvin or 5600 degrees Kelvin. And then you could actually pick the best color version of that gel or the brightest version of that gel. So there's a lot of control and flexibility uh, when you're picking out the gels. The next feature is we have the ability to have what we call a low end mode. So low end mode actually switches the way that the LEDs are controlled and you're able to get very, very low light levels with excellent uh, color temperature and excellent color rendition. We also have a tungsten mode. So tungsten mode is, is kind of just like what it sounds. We're able to actually mimic the behavior of a tungsten lamp source. So as you dim the light, the color temperature will actually warm as you get closer and closer to zero, just as a tungsten lamp would. We're also able to mimic the on-off behavior of a tungsten lamp source. So for example, if you go from 100% to 0% very quickly, there'll be a little bit of an afterglow effect. So the light will dim and warm, just as a, a tungsten filament does when you turn it off, it starts to cool down, that filament starts to glow. So we're actually through software, just by enabling that mode, it does that all automatically. So if you're mixing the sky panel with tungsten fixtures, it'll, they'll match perfectly. Or if you just want to get that kind of familiar effect, uh, it's a great mode. We also have the ability to uh, control the fan now through DMX. So in the DMX protocol that we released when, uh, with the sky panel, we had four extra channels at the end that we weren't using. Well, now we're using one of those empty channels to actually control the fan. So now you could actually change the fan mode. So you could change from low mode, variable mode, or high mode. But you also have the ability to turn the fans off completely for a short period of time. So for example, if you're doing a take and they, someone yells, roll camera, you could actually turn the fans off on all of the sky panels. And when, when the scene is done, you could turn the fans back on and cool the LEDs off. So in situations where uh, sound is really important, maybe you're in a small room or a very sensitive scene, you now have control over the fans. Three of the features we have re relate to the USB uh, A port on the fixture. So we have the ability to save error logs and service logs to a USB stick. So instead of actually connecting it to a computer, you could just save those error logs to a USB stick if you should get an error message. And that way you could send it to an area service person and, and figure out what the problem is. We also have the ability to save presets to the USB stick. So you could actually share uh, your presets with other fixtures or maybe even with a coworker. So you, we have the ability to save 10 presets and those 10 presets can then be saved to a USB stick. Additionally, we have the ability to clone all of the fixture settings to a USB stick. So if you wanted to set up a lot of different fixtures all at once, you could kind of uh, clone one fixture setting and then plug in the USB stick to all of the other fixtures and that will do things like set the DMX protocol, the fan mode, and, and everything else. So that will kind of speed up the process of setting up your fixtures. 
We've also implemented a few more uh, co uh, communication protocols. So SkyPanel is now fully RDM implemented. So we're able to act, RDM is, uh, stands for Remote Device Management, which allows two-way communication between the fixture and a lighting console. So now you're able to do things like remotely change the DMX address, uh, change the DMX protocol, change the fan mode. You could do that all through a lighting console using RDM. In addition to RDM, we've also implemented ArtNet. So ArtNet is a, a protocol that uses Ethernet uh, devices to communicate DMX over. So you could use uh, Ethernet cables, you could use uh, hubs and switches and routers, and you could uh, distribute your data using that uh, infrastructure and connect it right to the sky panel that way. Um, when you connect uh, ArtNet to the sky panel using the LAN port on the back of the fixture, you're also able to daisy chain out using the five pin DMX to other fixtures, so it actually acts as a gateway as well. We also give the ability of controlling the dimming curves in the sky panel. So in the past, we've only had the option of one dimming curve. As the light dims, uh, it dims in kind of an exponential uh, curve. But now you have the option of selecting from four different curves. The exponential, of course, is still the default, but you could also pick from a logarithmic curve. And the great thing about the logarithmic curve is that it gives you high resolution control over the high end of the dimming range, whereas the exponential gives you uh, high resolution control over the low end of the dimming range. We also have a linear curve, which is basically a one-for-one one, uh, in, uh, increase of the intensity with the percentage of the control panel. And, and the last curve is an S-curve, which gives you the best of both worlds of the logarithmic and the exponential, where you have high resolution control of the high end, high resolution control of the low end, but in the middle is not so great. So you, depending on your application, you could pick the dimming curve that's uh, best for you. So that is the SkyPanel firmware 2.0. It's a free of charge update that you can actually download from our website today and upload to your sky panel and you get all of these brand new features uh, for free, which is great because it really kind of turns your sky panel into a whole new fixture. Please visit us at www.airy.com for downloading the new firmware update and for more information. Thanks a lot.